。呃，好的，呃，我先背诵第二单元，也就是二十五课到三十八课的内容，然后将第一单元的一到二十四课放到最后背诵。好 ，Lesson Twelve, Lesson Twenty Five. Do English speak English? The question is, why does the writer not understand the porter? I arrived in London at last. The railway station was big, warm, big, black, and dark. I did not know the way to my hotel, so I asked the porter. I not only spoke English very slow, very carefully, but very clearly as well. However, the the porter, however, could not understand me. I repeated my question several times, and at last he understood. He answered me, but he spoke English neither neither slowly nor clearly. I am a foreigner, I said. I said. Then he spoke slowly. However, however, I could not, but but I could not understand that. My teacher never spoke English like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smiled. Then he said something, and I understood it. You will soon learn English, he said. You will soon learn English, he said. I wonder in England, each person speaks a different language. The English understand each other, but I don't understand understand that. Do they speak English? Lesson twenty six. The best art critics. Who is the best student? Are best. Who. Is the student best critic? I am not a student, and I paint a lot of pictures. Many people pretend that they understand modern art. They always tell you what a picture is about. Of course, many pictures are not about anything. They are just pretty patterns. We like them in the same way we like pretty curtain material. I think that young children often appreciate modern pictures better than anyone else. They notice more. My sister is only seven, but he, but she always tells me whether my picture are good or not. Good or not. He came into my room yesterday. What are you doing? She asked. I'm hanging this picture on the wall. I I answered. It's a new one. Do you like it? I looked at it again. Do you like it? He looked at. She looked at it critically for a moment. It's all right, she said. But isn't it? Isn't it upside down? I looked at it again. She was right. It was. Oh, lesson twenty-seven. One night. What happened to the boys in the night? Late in the afternoon, the boys pulled up their tent in the middle of the field. As soon as this was done, they cooked meal on over an open fire. They were all hungry, and the food smelled good. After a wonderful meal, they told stories and sang songs by the campfire. But sometime later, it began to rain. It began to rain. The boys felt tired, so they put out the fire and crept into their tent. Their sleeping bags were warm and comfortable, so they all slept soundly. In the middle of the night, two boys woke up and、uh, began shouting. The tent was full of water. They all leapt out of their sleeping bags and hurried outside. It was raining heavily, and they found a stream had formed in the field. The stream crawled,、uh, the stream wandered its way across the field, and then flew right under their tent. Lesson twenty-eight: No parking. What is Jasper White's problem? Jasper White is one of Those rare people who believe in Asian myth. He has just bought a house in the city, but ever since he moved in, he has had trouble with cars and their owners. He always he returns home at night. He always finds that th- that someone had parked car outside his gate. Because of this, he has not been able to get his own car into his garage even once. Jasper has put up no parking signs on a、uh, escape, but they have not had any effect. Now he has put he, now he put no clean stone head over the gate. It was it is one of the ugliest faces I have ever seen. I asked him what it was, and he told me it was Medusa, the Gorgon. 
Jasper hopes that she will turn cards at their owner's stone, but none of them have, have been turned to stone yet. Lesson 29. Lesson 29. Taxi. Does Captain Forsyth think any trip is too dangerous? Captain. Captain. Captain Forsyth. Has bought an Aurora taxi and has begun a new service. New service. The taxi is a small swan's play called a Peter's Father. This wonderful play can carry seven passengers. The most surprising thing about it, however, is that it can land anywhere on snow, water, or even on a flawed field. Captain Forsyth's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lowland village in the Welsh mountains. Since then, he has flown passengers to many unusual places. Once, he laid on the floor a block of flats, but on another occasion, he laid in a deserted car park. Captain Forsyth has just refused a strange request from a businessman. The, the man wanted to fly to Rockall, a lowland island in the Atlantic Ocean. But Captain Forsyth did, did not take it because the trip was too dangerous. Uh, lesson 30. One lesson 30. Football or polo. What happened to the man in the boat? The wheel is a small river that cuts across the park near my home. I like sitting by the wheel on fine afternoons. It was warm last Sunday, so I went and sat on the riverbank as usual. Some children were playing games on the river, and there were some people rowing on the river. Uh, no, no, no. Some children were playing games on the bank, and there were some people rowing on the river. Suddenly, one of the children kicked the ball very hard, and it went towards a passing boat. Some people on the bank called out to the man in the boat, but he did not hear them. The ball struck him so hard that. He nearly fell into the water. I turned to look at the children, but there weren't any inside. They had all run away. The man left when he realized what had happened to her. He called out to the children and threw the ball back to the bank. Lesson 31 Lesson 31 Success Story What was Frank's first job? Late uh, yesterday, yesterday afternoon, Frank Hawkins was telling me about his experiences as a young man. Before he retired, Frank was the head of a very large business, business company. But as a boy, he used to work a small shop. It was his job to repair vessels. And at that time, he used to work 14 hours a day. 14 hours a day. He saved money for years, and in 1958, he bought a small workshop of his own. His own. In his 20s, he used to make spare parts for the airplanes, and at that time, he had two helpers. Frank smelled. Uh, um, in a few years, the small workshop had, had become a large factory which employed 728 people. Frank smiled when he remembered his hard early years and the long road to success. The long road to success. He was still smiling when the door opened and his wife came in. She wanted him to repair their grandson's bicycle. Lesson 32. Shopping made easy. Who was the thief? People are not so honest as they once were. The temptation to steal is greater than ever before, especially in large shops. The detective recently was watching. Recently watched a well-dressed woman who always went into a fair or large shop on Monday mornings. One Monday. There were a few people in the shop than Euro when the woman came in. So 
it was easier for their detective to watch her. The woman first bought a few small articles. After a little time, she chose one of the most expensive dresses in the shop and handed it to her assistant, who wrapped it up for her as quickly as possible. Then the woman simply took the parcel and walked, walked out of the shop without pain. When she was arrested, the detective found that the shop assistant was her daughter. The girl gave her mother a free dress every at once a week. Lesson 33, Out of the Darkness Why was the girl in hospital? Nearly a week passed before the girl was able to explain what had happened to her. One afternoon, she set out from the coast in a small boat and was caught in a storm. Towards evening, the boat struck a rock and the girl jumped into the sea. Then, she sw swam to the shore. After spending the whole night, the whole night in the water, during that time, mm, she covered a distance of eight miles. Early next morning, early next morning, she saw a land ahead. She knew she was near the shore. She was near the shore because the light was high up on cliffs. On arriving at the shore, the girl struck up the cliffs towards the light she had seen. That was all she remembered. That was all she remembered. When she woke up a day later, she found herself in hospital. Lesson 34. Quick work. How long did the police how long had the police taken to find his passport? Dan Robinson has been worried all week. Last Tuesday, he received a letter from the local police. In the letter, he was asked to he was asked to call at the station. Dan was wondered why he was wanted by the local by the police, but he went to the station yesterday and now he is not worried anymore. At the station he was told by a smiling people that his bicycle had been had had been found. Five days ago, the police told him. The bicycle was picked up in a small village. 400 miles away. It is being, it is now being sent to his home, sent to his home by train. Dan was one, was most surprised when he heard the news. He was amused too, because he never thought, he never expected the bicycle to be found. It was, it was stolen 20 years ago when Dan was a boy of 15. Oh, lesson 30. Five. Stop thieves. How did Roy stop the thieves? Roy used to drive a taxi. After a short, uh, a short while ago, however, he became a bus driver, and he has not regretted it. He is finding his new work far more exciting. When he was Driving along Catford Street recently, he saw two thieves rush out of a shop and run towards a waiting car. One of them was carrying a bag full of money. Roy acted quickly and drove the bus straight at the thieves. The money, the th the one with the money, got such a fright that he dropped the bag. And the thieves were trying to get away in their car. Roy drove his bus into the back bed. While the battered car was moving away, Roy stopped his bus and telephoned the police. The thief's car was badly damaged and easy to recognize. After a short while, a short while after, afterwards, the police stopped the car and both men were 
broke or arrested. Lesson 36, Sanshu Luke. Across the channel. What is Debbie going to try to do? Debbie Hart is going to swim across the English Channel tomorrow. She is going to set out from the French coast at 5 o'clock in the morning. Debbie, Debbie is only 11 years old and she hopes to set up a new world record. She is a strong swimmer and many people feel that she is sure to succeed. Debbie's father will set out with her in a small boat. Mr. Hart has trained his daughter four years. Tomorrow, he will be watching her anxiously as she swims the long distance to England. Debbie intends to take short rests every two hours. Every two hours. She will have have something to drink, and but she will not eat any solid food. Solid food. Most of Debbie's school friends will be waiting for her on the English coast. Among them will be Debbie's mother, who swam the channel herself when she was a girl. Lesson 37, century Chico. Lesson 37, the Olympic Games. When was the last time this country hosted the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games will be held in our country in four years' time. As a great many people will be visiting the country, the government will be building new hotels, a maze stadium, and a new Olympic standard swimming pool. They will also be building new roads and a special railway line. Railway line. The games will be held just outside the capital, and the whole area will be called Olympic City. Workers will have finished work uh, finished the new roads by the end of this year. By the end of next year, they will finished they will have finished work on the new stadium. The fantastic modern buildings have been designed by Kurt Goddard. Everybody will be watching watch anxiously as the new buildings go up. We are all very excited and are looking forward to the Olympic Games because they have never been held before in this country. 好, 今天学习的 38 Lesson 38 Everything except the weather Why Why did Harrison sell his house so quickly. My old friend Harrison had lived in Mediterranean for many years before he returned to England. He had often dreamed of retiring in England and settle down and had planned to settle down in the country. He had no sooner returned that he bought a house and went to live there. Almost in near today, he began to complain about the weather. For even though it was still summer, it rained continually and it was it was often badly cold. After so many years of sunshine, Harrison got a shock. He acted as if he had never been lived in England before. In the end, it was more than he could he could bear. It had hardly ha he had hardly had time to sit down when he sold the house and left the country. The dream he had had for so many years ended there. Harrison had thought of everything, had thought of everything except the weather. On lesson one, a private conversation. Why did the writer complain to the people behind him? Last week, I went to a theater. I had a very good seat. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. 
I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around. I looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business. The young man said rudely. This is a private conversation. Lesson two: Breakfast or lunch. Why were the writers and surprised? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got up very late. I looked at, I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought it's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I've just arriving by train. She said, "I'm coming to see you, but I'm still having breakfast." I said, "What are you doing?" She asked. I'm having breakfast. I repeated. Dear me, she said. Do you always get up so late? It's o- it's one o'clock. Lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I went to Italy. I visited museums and sat in public gardens. A friend in winter taught me a few words. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. My holiday passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day I made back this year, I got up early and bought thirty-seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not. Write a single card. Lesson four: The exciting trip. Why is Tim finding this trip exciting? I have just received a letter from my brother Tim. He's in Australia. Has been there for six months. Tim is an engineer. He's working for a big firm, and he has already visited a great number of different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car. Has come. Ca- has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon fly to visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's he's finding this trip very exciting. Lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Card has crashed in Sudbury, and now he has just bought another crash in Pinhurst. Pinhurst is only five miles from Sudbury. But Mr. Scott cannot get a telephone for his new garage, so he's just, he has just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first message from Pinhurst to Silbury. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Mr. Scott has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has begun his own private in、uh, own private telephone service. Lesson six. Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Buttons? Percy Buttons. I have just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banker knocked at my door. At he asked me for a meal and a glass of beer. In return for this, the banker stood his hand and sang songs. I gave him a meal. He ate the food and drank the beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, no, a neighbor told me about him. Everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He calls at every house in the street once a month and asks, and always asks for a meal and a glass of beer. Lesson seven. Too late. Did the detective save the diamonds? The play was late, and the detective and the detective were waiting at the airport all morning. They were inspecting a valuable pair of diamonds from South Africa. Few hours earlier, someone had told the police that thief would try to steal the diamonds. When the plane arrived, some of the detectives were waiting inside the main building, while others were waiting on the airfield. Two men took the parcel off the plane and carried it into the customer's house, while two detectives were keeping guard at the door. Two others opened the parcel. To their surprise, the precious parcel was full of stones and sand. Lesson. Eight, the best and the worst. Why, 
Why is Jones Garden the most beautiful one in the town? John Sanders had the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly each one, nearly everybody enters for the nicest garden competition each year. But John, but John wins every time. Bill Fred's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe and grows more flowers and vegetables. But John's garden is more interesting. He has made neat path and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year I enter for the garden competition too, and I always win a little prize for the little, for the worst garden in the town. Lesson nine: A cold welcome. What does a cold welcome refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was the last day of the year, and a crowd, a large crowd of people, had gathered under the town hall clock. It was struck twelve in twenty minutes time. Fifteen minutes passed, and then at just at five to twelve, the clock stopped. The big minutes hand did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly, someone shouted, "It's two minutes past twelve." The clock had stopped. I looked at my watch. It was true. The big clock refused to welcome the new year. At that moment, everybody everybody began to laugh and sing. Lesson ten: Not for jazz. What had What happened to the clavichord? We have no musical instrument. It is called clavichord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clavichord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard, and two of the strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we are not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Lesson eleven: One return deserves another. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having dinner at a restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony, you, Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he is now working at bank. At the bank, he gets good salary. Salary. But he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and said, "Tony saw me and come and sit the same table. He has never borrowed money from me." While he was eating, I asked him to lend me twenty pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. "I have never borrowed any money from you," Tony said. "So now you can pay for my dinner." Lesson twelve. Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Ellison going and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Ellison, will sail from Port Portsmouth tomorrow. We will meet him at the harbor early in the morning. He will be in small boat, top sail. Top sail is a famous little boat. It has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Fawcett will set out at eight o'clock, so we will have plenty of time. We will see his boat and then we will say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. He will take part in important races across the Atlantic. Lesson thirteen: The Greenwood Boys. The Greenwood Boys. Why will the police have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. Most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the station tomorrow evening. They will be staying at the workers' club. The Greenwood Boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. As usual, the police will have a difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is always the same on these occasions. Lesson fourteen: Do you speak English? Do the in Do the young men speak English? I had amusing experience last year. After I had left a small village in the south of France, I drove on to the next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped at him. He asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him in French, and he replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I don't know any French at all. Neither of us spoke during the journey. I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said very slowly. Do you speak English? As I soon learned, he was English himself. 
Mm, lesson 15. Good news. What was good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Harmsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went into his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not afford to afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Harmsworth, I said in a weak voice. Don't interrupt, he said. Then he smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Lesson 16. A polite request. What was a polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a traffic policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without a ticket. However, this does not always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite. During a holiday in Swanda, I found this note on my car. Sir, we welcome you to our city. This is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our strange size. This note is only a reminder. If you receive a request like this, you cannot fail to obey it. Lesson 17. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell any, any, anyone how old she is? My Aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least 35 years old. Despite of this, she often appeared on the stage as a young girl. This uh, Jennifer will have to to part in a new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of 17. In play, she must appear in a bright red dress and a long black stag stockings. Last year, in another play, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up. Lesson 18. He often does this. What had happened to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch at a village pub, I looked for my bag. I had left it on a chair beside the door, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. Do you have good meal? He asked. Yes, thank you, I answered. But I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag. The landlord smelled and immediately went out. In a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. Lesson 19 sold out. When will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment, I said. It may have begun already, so they answered. I hurried to the ticket's office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry, we've sold out, the girl said. What a pity, Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket's office. Can I return these two tickets? He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the ticket's office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But therefore, next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them? I might as well have them, I said sadly. Lesson 20. One man in the boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I'm even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After spending, after having spent spend whole mornings on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. You must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time. Oh, 前面少了一句话，第一句 ，But it doesn't worry. It doesn't worry me. It does not worry me. 啊，好，接着背吧。But they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in sitting in boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson 21. Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. A linear airport and a passing plane can be heard night and day. The airport was built years ago, years ago by force. For some reason, it could not be used then. Last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must have been driven away from their homes by the noise. I'm 
one of the few people left. I all sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by by passing play. I have been offered a large sum of money to go away, but I'm determined to stay here. Everybody s- says I must be mad, and they are probably probably right. Lesson twenty two: A glass envelope. How did Jean receive a letter from a stranger? My daughter Jean, my daughter Jean, have never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Old Holland. Last year, when we were traveling across the Channel, and Jean put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle, she threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later. She received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls are write. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Letters will certainly letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Lesson thirty three. Lesson twenty three. A new house. What was the new house special? I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lived in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she could, she would, she would, she would come to England next year. If she comes, she will get a surprise. We are now living in, we are now living in a small, a beautiful new house in the country. Work on it. Had begun before my sister left. The house was completed five months ago. In my letter, I told her that she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms and there is a lovely garden. It is a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It, it must be the only modern house in the district. Lesson twenty-four. It could be worse. What had happened to the? Hmm. Had the writer's money been stolen? I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost fifty pounds, and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room. I said, "And it's not there now." The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Everyone is losing money these days, he said. He started to complain. About this wicked, this wicked world, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. A girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. It contained fifty pounds. I found this outside this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager, there is still some honesty in this world.